What's up, YTPC? New to Cobbs. This uh, blistery Monday evening. Debuting my JWK 2366 shop cigar. First time smoking it. I think I've had it almost two weeks. Tampery scent with it. Uh, in it, some simple lane one Q. I thought that'd be appropriate to break it in. It was a bit of a challenge packing, so I'm not sure really if I have it full, but the draw is good. This thing's awesome, John. <laughs> Thanks again. Oh, a lot going on in this video, except for debuting my shop cigar. Washing it down with Samuel Adams' White Christmas. So, first off, you know, my son's an electrician slash welder. He can pretty much do everything, except mechanical work. So last week, we had talked about, after getting through this winter when it warms back up, changing out the uh, service in our basement for our house. Now our house was built in 1910, and you can about imagine how old our fuse panels were. Yeah, I said fuses, old screw-in type fuses. So last, I believe it was Thursday, he, uh, so he welds, but he still works with, uh, actually his girlfriend's father is an electric, electrician, he has his own uh, company. So they do work together. And uh, last Thursday he surprised us with an early Christmas present and they changed our uh, service panel in our basement. So we now have a legitimate 200 amp service with uh, I think 30 slots for fuses or for breakers. So what a huge relief. I mean, a very appreciative thank you to him for that. Um, so with that being said, uh, we had talked about burying an underground service out here in the garage so we could do a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it over the corner, but he's bought himself a little Miller wire welder. And we have done a lot of stuff in this garage in the 25 years I've lived here. A lot of stuff. So, Sunday we woke up, he said, you know, it's kind of wet out, the ground's soft. He says, what do you feel about digging a trench? So, I dug an 18-foot trench from the house to the garage and took about all day, one trip to Home Depot. But we now have a 60-amp panel over here on the wall with plenty of power for anything we want to do out here. So, there again, man, appreciate it. You know, thanks a lot, Wyatt. That, that's just so cool. Um, that was not part of our Christmas present. We had to pay for that. But <laughs> it's ran. Oh, so there we go. We got power. Oh, I actually think he's going to come out and do some welding here in a little bit. The old pipe lighter actually works pretty slick for that thing. Gets the flame right in there. Yeah, this is going to be too cool. You know, one of them quick smokes. I don't know how it's going to burn. I think we talked about this before. I think you're going to want to keep rotating it so you don't burn it up in the one side. But... Anyhow, so, the next thing. Corey Brown, uh, follow him on Instagram, ABB Brown, Corey Brown. I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that he had sent me a briar pipe that he had started working on from a chunk of briar, and he had it chucked up in the lathe off center, so it drilled the uh, 
center hole off center. And he was going to throw it in the scrap bin, and I, I talked him into sending it to me and seeing what I could do with it. I don't remember what all I had showed you guys or where, where I was at on that. But, oh, and if, there's a little bit of noise here. I've got the old uh, propane stove here burning. I have a fireplace in the back. That's that's our next project to get the rest of the piping from that. And we're going to get a fireplace piped in out here. We'll actually be able to leave that garage door open in the middle of winter probably with that what fireplace going. So, and I'm going to get this wrong. I should have looked it up. Uh, Andy's wax, Adam's wax, Andrew's wax. It's in the little white container. I did a little bit of research about waxing and buffing pipes. That seemed to work pretty good for my application being that I was going to apply it by hand and probably remove it by hand because I don't have any power buffers right now. I don't want to put any money into anything yet not knowing how far I'm going to take this. So I put some of that on. I don't know if you'll be able to see the stem. It's technically blue and yellow. Um, that's all I did to it. I polished it up with like 1400 grit paper and then put that wax on it a little bit ago and let it dry. For me it would be good enough. I don't want a high polished stem and, and the buff marks are going to be where I have chatter anyway so if it's going to be my pipe I'm not sure we might go somewhere with that but the pipe so I took the Dremel and I guess you can kind of really see it with the white I took my Dremel and drilled just ground out so it looked like I wanted a tree bark effect or a tree tree limb tree branch so I put black dye in that and then once the black dye had dried, I went, oh, spider. I really don't like spiders, even though he's not very big. All right, we got him. Um, I went back over and sanded off the high spots so that I could get the natural wood back so I could put the brown on. And from what I've read, microfiber cloth. So we're just going to sit here. We're going to fire this uh, shop cigar back up. And maybe we can sit here and shoot the shit while I buff this out a little bit and see what I can do to it. All the fire trucks and ambulance went out a little bit ago. I don't know what we have going on now. Ambulance flying by, it looks like. Must have been an accident somewhere. I'm not going to put a ton of time into this. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. And I might have to get a power buffer because I'm not sure if this is going to get down in all these cracks where I put that wax on it. Maybe I shouldn't have used so much wax. So I don't know. I like this pipe. I actually, once you see it, love the color. I love what I did with it. It's beautiful. I kind of had a thought, but I'm not sure. In some of my way early videos, probably a year ago, of the ones down in the creek when I was uh, deer hunting, when I smoked my JWK 2366 custom antler cob, I explained the whole story about, you know, back when I was in school, a kid, you know, hunting with my dad, he'd smoke cigars, and I actually shot a, a nice buck one morning. Actually, it was around lunchtime right after he lit up a black and mild cigar. So over the years, I mean, my dad used to be a cigarette smoker. You know, then he smoked cigars. I personally don't remember him smoking pipes, but he says he has. So, I don't know. I don't want to get somebody, 67 years old, quit drinking six, seven years ago. 
you know, doesn't smoke. But next Monday starts our uh, deer gun season for adults, which brings me to another story. <laughs> and uh, I have the day off, and he's retired, so we're going to spend the day in a ground blind. So I don't know. I thought about maybe gifting him this plate in case he'd want to have a smoke down there with me. But we'll, we'll see what we're going to do with that. Uh, I don't know. I might keep it. It's pretty damn nice. Uh, oh, on back onto the deer hunting thing. Um, I, I didn't do any video footage. Uh, I, my daughter. So last weekend, Saturday and Sunday was uh, Ohio Youth Gun Season. They do it for two days, a week before the adult gun season. She's 14, freshman. She's killed two deer with crossbow. She didn't get a deer last year. So she's sick, very sick. Like I didn't think she was going to get up Saturday morning. Um, she woke up. Uh, she got up. We got around, we got, we were down in the ground blind an hour before legal shooting time. Uh, I fired up the little Mr. Buddy heater. She covered up in a blanket and she took a, you know, snooze. She went to sleep. Um, you guys saw that I bought one of the Henry uh, Black Rifle 357 Magnums. Uh, I personally don't want to put a scope on my rifle, but my dad has that same gun with the scope on it. So that's what she used. And I think legal shooting time was 7 a.m., somewhere around there, 6.58, 7 a.m. We sat there seeing nothing. She played with her phone. I made her some hot chocolate. She was feeling, oh, there's spider, damn it. Coming out because it's warming up. Um, about 9 o'clock, about 100 yards across the creek, I saw brown moving. And it's all I knew was it was a deer possibly coming our way. So from the time we saw that brown, to the time it got about 75 yards out in front of us was less than a minute. Things happened fast. We knew it was a buck, wider than its ears, that's all we knew. Big bodied deer. And she got him in her crosshairs. I, I, he wasn't going to stop. I, I made a little noise, I got him to stop. And she cracked him right behind the shoulder, shot one a little high, dropped him right in his tracks. So she's hooked on gun hunting now, so uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, maybe in the end of this video, I'll attach a couple of those pics. Um, I don't know, it's my daughter, but I, I might do that. I, it, it'll be alright with everybody on this channel. So, let's keep buffing. And that's about all the stories I have. Wow. Busy weekend. So we took that to... Uh, her favorite place to get it processed because they make really good uh, land jaggers or uh, snack sticks with uh, cheddar cheese inside of them. So we took that there Saturday right after she shot it. Yeah, I might have put too much wax in this thing. time keeping this thing lit. I don't know. Keller, is there a trick to this? Am I doing it right? Maybe you're supposed to smoke it faster. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting just because I don't want a long ass video just because I'm trying to buff this out. I'm going to. All right, we're back. That was tricky. So I took a 
medium bristle toothbrush and kind of scrubbed it down in the cracks. I think I got most of it out. I definitely know now not so much wax. I'll just, uh, I don't have the stem fit. Well, maybe I do. Well. Yeah, I do, kind of. You have a final buffer. Shop cigar down. I could do a little more fitting to it. Maybe a little more polishing, but there it is done. Again, ABB Brown, Corey Brown, Briar, and I did tree bark look, I guess. Neighbor's home. That's not our smoke detector going off. But yeah, and I think I showed you this before. I don't really think you're going to be able to see in there how crooked the hole is, but I think it's still going to smoke. I, I, I'm happy with it. Th this is awesome. This thing, uh, I'm going to try to, I'm losing light outside. Try to get some pictures of it. I don't know, I don't. The bit fits on there pretty good if you ask me. It's polished enough for me. Like I said I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But. Yeah, anyways, I'm not going to keep you guys hanging around for no reason. JWK2366 Shop Cigar. ABB Brown, Corey Brown, Junk Pile Briar. Cold Beer. I think that's about it for tonight. I'll talk to you guys later.